Good morning everybody, this is Kathy at North Star Prep Center and I have Prep Center Bob Hi. and Mrs. B here with me <laughs> in lovely rainy Minnesota right now. So we're huddled under our umbrella and we're on our way to Menards. It's early in the morning for a couple of us. Coffee first. <laughs> right, coffee, coffee first. <laughs> so here we go on an adventure. And here we are at Menards in Alexandria, ready to shop. All right, you have a project. I don't know if we'll get to it or not, but I wanted to show you this because of, for the average person, they don't know how to do tuck pointing or to do brick and mortar or projects like that. But you know how to stack blocks. I mean, you learned that in kindergarten. So what's really good is you can take uh, landscape construction adhesive and use it just like gluing the blocks together. And it'll hold really well and you just sit there and, and apply that like a sealer put the blocks in place and it'll stick together and you can make your own fireplace with just oh, a few so cool. tubes of this Yay. Right. on caught guns most people don't realize it but you, you uh, a couple things on newer caught guns you can sit there you cut the end off the handle has a cutter so you cut that end off and then you also have for the ones that have a seal in there you've got a seal breaker and that just goes there pops it and then it's ready to go some cool. modern man in his natural habitat. You're looking for hinges for what? So I want to make somebody a garden gate. Ah. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. But I have to find everything so it matches and it looks nice. Saving on projects. Uh, a lot of times by individual components, you know, if you can find a package, uh, always check your prices. But if I bought these individual components is $21, but they have it here as a kit for $14.95. So that saves five, six bucks just for this one, one project. Very nice. So we're getting clothesline wire to replace what I have on my clothesline. And this is the wire that we're gonna get for the clothesline. After looking at a bunch of different choices, we've decided on this premium decking to create the well cover. It has double the preservative in it for it to last so long and it's got built-in water repellent and it's less expensive than a lot of the other things all right just about every lumber yard across the country doesn't matter where you are always does this as they're going through their inventories there's boards that are waned or pitched or twisted or knots broken out the list goes on and on one of the things that you always do is look for their bargain area and what you can do is, I'm a firm believer you have not because you ask not. So a lot of times what I'll do is find something that's in there. You find the discounted price. A lot of times you bundle it together. You can talk to a manager and get it reduced even more. Uh, a lot of times I bought piles of lumber that were worth three, four, five hundred dollars and got them for anywhere from twenty to fifty dollars. So huge opportunity for savings. Mayor Keith has been so generous to let us go through his wood pile. He's got quite a bit down here. He burns wood for heat, and so he collects a lot of things here.
gives me six and a half feet above ground. Okay. That way when I put everything in here, I get a solid six foot in case someone like me is taller and wants yep. to walk through your garden. This was a really nice piece of wood here and we're going to make this one the hinge post because it seems to be the most solid. So what are you using these for then? These are going to be spacers to hold the boards where I want so that when we backfill and all that stuff, uh, that way I can concentrate on the other ones. It's Katie. Hello. <laughs> We're having lots of fun working on projects. Yes. I am so happy to have her here helping. Yes, it is so much fun. I was envisioning that it would go over the top, but this is much better. No, this is, whatever you think is better and stronger. So, okay, that's fine. Putting a support piece in there to hold it all together. Go Katie! Well, it's day two of working on projects with the Self-Reliant Roadshow at my home. Let's go see what they're up to. And then just think of the screw, you know, where's it gonna go? Oh, okay. So, We're here on a sunny July morning under the apricot tree building my garden gate with Prep Stutter Bob and Katie from She Moved Mountains.
is my garden gate. So what kind of wood is this, Prep Setter Bob? Uh, it's treated um, with a cedar tone finish, so it's just regular treated pine. Pine, okay. Yeah. But it'll last 25, 30 years. Awesome. So it's using two inch screws. What kind of, is, are they deck screws? Is that what Just two inch torx head screws. Okay. Yeah. And so these are all attached to the frame and now he's going yep. to cut an arch in the top. Yep, and that's real easy. Find the center, 35 and a half, be 17 and three quarter. So come up here, find 17 and three quarter, which is right there. That's just wonderful. From here yes. to here, it's too, okay. it's too radical. So okay. we're gonna change, we're gonna widen that arc by moving this screw down to there. Oh, okay. And then that, that widens that arch. Okay. Right? Right. So, that's why I put it there halfway to check it. I'm gonna... And that's just too low. Getting our, our geometry going here. Exactly. Testing the arch. See there? Oh, perfect. Yes. Because right. it'll come right at the exactly. corner of that notch there. And that's why I do my pencil like that. See here? You just wind it around. It and, yep. and that way I can roll the pencil and find the arch. And it won't. Once I find that arch, I just hold the string. So it doesn't move. Using a jigsaw, where most people mess up, is they push the cut. So as we're following lines, stay on the outside of the line, and then let the saw cut. Don't push it, just let it cut, and then you'll end up with a straight, nice, even cut. Awesome. the curve on that. That's the top of the gate. Just fabulous. So amazing. It's like a little English garden. And it swings so nicely too. So all I have to do is release it here. It opens. I swing into my garden. So I can get my carts through here. I just close it and it latches. That's the inside of it. And now I can stay in my garden and nothing can come in. 